Hey guys, my name is Gabe, and this is episode 6 to Let's Make Roast. In this episode, we're going to be uh, making this. As you can see, we have a health bar in the bottom left, a hunger bar, and a thirst bar. And they do go down gradually, so we have our hunger going down and our thirst. Also, uh, I did make a couple improvements with the enemy AI in this episode, uh, such as things like uh, improving the raycast. So, uh, stay tuned and enjoy. Alright, so to get started, uh, let's go to our player folder and open up the player script. Alright, so once you have uh, your script open, make sure you have using unityengine.ui up here. And, okay, so we're gonna actually start off by making a few variables here. So I'm gonna make public float hunger, and we'll just make that 100, and public float thirst, which is also gonna equal 100. Um, I'm gonna start putting F at the end of floats because uh, it's a new convention that I want to pick up, or it's not a new convention. Uh, I want to start using this convention. So, okay. Um, now we have hunger and thirst, so now we're going to get our hunger and thirst bar set up. So, I'm going to have a public image hunger, uh, hunger bar, and public image thirst bar. Okay, so now down here in update, I'm actually going to do hunger bar is equal, or sorry, hunger bar dot fill amount is equal to hunger divided by 100. And we're going to do the same thing for the thirst bar. So thirst bar dot fill amount is equal to thirst divided by 100. And the reason we're doing 100 is because the fill amount is from 0 to 1. So if we di uh, divide, uh, say, say we have 90 hunger, and we divide that by 100, we'll have 0 0.9. So it'll go accordingly with that uh, fill amount. Okay, so if we go back to Unity, all right, so I'll provide in the description again, uh, the this loading bar sprite. So what this is, is a, I believe it's a 100 or, yeah, a 512 by 16 bar. So we're gonna use that and you'll see how we're gonna use that in a second. So if we go into our scene view, I'll make a UI and I'll make a new canvas. And this will be our UI canvas and in here, I will create the image, so down here, image, and in the game you should see just a white box appear. Uh, drag in the loading bar, uh, or sorry, you have to change some uh, settings for the loading bar, so we have to change the, t uh, the texture type to sprite. Uh, we can leave this the way it is now, filter mode, point, and we can just make the max size 512 and the format 16 bit because we only have one color and apply. Okay, so back to the image, we can apply our sprite now and change uh, our height to 20. Uh, I guess, yeah, maybe 10. Uh, 500, no, that's too much. What's a good size? 200 by 15, that might be okay. And if I change this, uh, bring it to the bottom right, maybe make the Y, let's say 15, and the X, 150. Or Let's try 125. All right, so that looks uh, okay. And UI canvas, I'm gonna make it pixel perfect. So again, it is pixel perfect. And I'm gonna change this to hunger, uh, hunger bar. And I'll duplicate this and make a thirst bar. And I'll just make the hunger bar third. No, we'll make the hunger bar 40. Okay, so our hunger bar will be green. So I'll just change this to a nice green. You can change it to whatever you want, doesn't really matter. And your thirst bar, I'll just make it blue. So let's find a nice blue, yeah, that's okay. Okay, so uh, we do also have to change one more thing. So if we select both the bars and we go to image type, we have to do fill and select horizontal for the fill method. And as you can see, it is by one. It goes from zero to one. And as you can see, it is a, uh, it is now acting as if it's a, uh, a slider. Okay, we can also add backgrounds to this. So I'll duplicate this and I'll just call this hunger bar uh, background. And I will make this simple and a gray like this, make it above hunger. And I'll copy, or sorry, I'll duplicate this and put one above thirst and make it the same Y position as thirst. So we have 15 here and I'll make that 15. Okay, so 
their spar background. Okay, it may have looked complicated, but what we did was we just simply added a gray background to these bars. So when we lower the amount, uh, the fill amount of the bars, it, it doesn't look as if it's shrinking. It looks like we're actually uh, losing uh, that amount, as you can see in the bottom left. And same with the thirst bar. Okay, I'm actually going to make another one for health. I'm starting to think about it, so I'll bring that up here and change the Y position to 65 because we're adding each of these by uh, 15 uh, to 30, so 25. And so I'll just change this to health bar and make it red. And I will give this a background as well. And 65. And health bar background. Okay, so now we have to get that to work with the script. So back in the script, we have to now uh, make another image here. So public image uh, health bar. And over here, we'll just do health bar uh, dot fill amount is equal to health. Oops, health divided by 100. Okay. So let's get this set up and it should work. So if we go to our player and bring the health bar here, hunger bar to the hunger bar and the thirst bar to the thirst bar, hit apply and hit play, we should see not much happen until we start adjusting the values of the variables. So now that we're in and I start uh, adjusting health, you can see that our health is going down. And same with our hunger and our thirst. Okay, so let's make it now so that our hunger and our thirst goes down So over time. So uh, let's make two variables. I'll make a public float uh, hunger speed multiplier and I will make the same for thirst, so thirst speed multiplier. And we want to make thirst go down faster than hunger, so I guess uh, we could do for thirst uh, something like 0 0.25 and for hunger we could do uh, 0 0.10. Okay, so uh, in update we can do if hunger is greater than 0, or sorry, greater than 0, then hunger will minus equal time dot delta time multiplied by our hunger speed multiplier. And we're gonna do the same thing for our thirst. So if our thirst is greater than zero, we'll do thirst minus equals time dot delta time times our thirst speed multiplier. Okay, so if we go and try that out, it should work. And I could see it, uh, it is going down. I might wanna, oh, we could see it here too. It's also going down. Uh, it is going down pretty slow. I'll increase the values a little bit just so you could see it better. Uh, for now, so I guess uh, for hunger we'll do 0 0.6 and for thirst we'll do 0 0.8 and hit play and you should see much better now uh, that the hunger and the thirst is going down and the thirst is going down uh, a little slower than the hunger. Okay, so that works pretty well. Um, if we drag our health down all the way to zero, we should see ourselves die. Yep, okay, there we go, and respawn. Okay, uh, one more thing we wanna do is uh, when we respawn, we wanna reset health, or, or sorry, we want to reset our hunger and thirst. So back in our uh, script for our respawn, we're gonna do hunger is equal to 100 and thirst is equal to 100. Okay, so if we hit play now and bring our health to zero, respawn. You should see our health, or sorry, our thirst and hunger is now uh, 100 and it's going down. Okay, one more thing I wanted to do actually before we close off this video is I wanted to do something with the AI. Uh, someone actually told me to do this and uh, they were 100% correct. Over here where we have vector 3 down forward, um, the reason this is inefficient is because as you'll see when we hit play and turn on gizmos, uh, once we go to the enemy and he starts chasing us, that ray will always be pointing towards uh, vector 3.4, but it won't be pointing towards uh, 
the transform forward of the enemy. So we, instead of doing vector three dot forward, let's just do transform dot forward. And now if we hit play and run up to the enemy and pass his ray, as you can see, his ray is now in front of him. Much better. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe and have a good one.